Coach is going to give you a quick disclaimer about playing these daggone Bethune Cookman Wildcats. Let me tell you something. If you think you got the game in hand, you better find you better make sure you continue to keep putting points on the board. This team is willing to get out here and scratch and claw against any opponent that they play. And guess what? They may jump out on your behind and have you scratching your head trying to figure out how in the heck did we lose this game and we were ahead. Guess what? They don't have they don't understand the word quit. The word quit is not in their system at if all. If you're not paying attention to Bethune Cookman, you better start paying attention to it because they're going to bring the pressure to you all game long on both sides of the ball. It's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went this down. This is Tomorrow's Sports Network. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, like these videos, comment on these videos, and share these videos. Not to mention, hit that notification bell so that you get all upcoming videos. And for all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. Guys, we just going to go ahead and get off in this thing. But first, make sure y'all hit that notification bell as well. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. Tap in a friend or two and tell them to come on in. It's nothing but positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. Before we get into this thing, make sure you guys are following us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Let me tell you right now, coaches tapped in because you know what? I watched the Bethune-Cookman game, and I, I was thoroughly impressed with them. Because they had they had a few mistakes out there on the field. We're going to get into that. But they never quit. And that's something, man, you don't really see that in a lot of these teams nowadays. Sometimes they get down 10 points, 14 points. Sometimes they think the game is over. The game is never over. That's one thing that I teach my kids as well. The game is never over because somebody is up 10, 14, 21 points. As long as you get out there and continue to keep fighting, you never know what may happen. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Bethune Cookman is very interesting, you know, to watch them play. And I must admit, watching that game against UTEP, I learned a lot of different things for a lot of different things about that team. For start, they would match up against teams outside of the SWAC conference. Now, yeah, they play UTEP, who was in the CUSA conference. And I I would say this: minus a muff punt and an interception. Bethune Cookman had an opportunity to win that game. I'm just going to be honest with you. And, and a few penalties here and there. Hey, Bethune Cookman was in this. Got a game. young man on that defensive side of the ball, number 26, Caleb Sutherland, who will knock you loose. You hear me? He, hey, he, he kind of, he, him and Shador Sanders are going to be two of the guys that I'm going to watch in the SWAT this year. And I'm sure there's a few others that I will see as the season go on. Watch them try to knock you out your daggone equipment. You hear me? And, and, and like I said, these guys that listen, they're playing above shoulders than everybody else right now. They're letting you know if you're coming to the middle of the field, you're going to have to ask. And trust me, Mr. Caleb Sutherland, he let those UTEP receivers understand very quickly, you come in here, you're going to pay for it. But I'm going to be honest with you. Bethune Cookman came out in the second. They, they didn't score any points in the first half. They was down 10 nothing. Now, in the second half, they came out They came out like game. Not only did the offense turn it up, but the defense did too. Bethune, Bethune Cookman, Caleb Sutherland, once again, created a fumble in which uh, created a fumble on quarterback uh, Hard Hardison for UTEP for the Wildcats to get the ball and position themselves to get uh, in position to score points. Now, um, number 44, Jamarcus Reeves, he had an opportunity to scoop and score. But, hey, you know how, how it goes sometimes. Those turf buddies, they come out there and trip you up. I know the big fella was kind of pissed off. He didn't get that one in the end zone. But you know what? I'm glad he, he uh, I'm glad the effort was there for him to really get after and make a play for his team. Like I said, that's what it's all about, trying to find a way to climb back into a game when people think that you're out of it. I mean, like I said, Bethune Cookman, they're going to be a problem in the sweat. You might as well get ready for it right now. If you think this is going to be an easy out, I'm sorry to tell you it's not. They're coming in here to play some ball. Um, there's a few things that they do need to clean up in which, um, <clears throat> like I said before, scrappy bunch, there's no quitting. Quayshon Bird, uh, running back for the Wildcats, he ran the ball 12 times for 107 yards, and he had one touchdown. Now, the defense, they got to slow down. Uh, the running games on a lot of these on with these offenses because they gave up entirely too many yards on the ground. They allowed you took to run the ball fifty one times for three hundred yards. Now, uh, and not to mention the per average uh, per carry was just ridiculous. Uh, Round a watt for UTEP, he had an average of 6.6 .6 yards per carry, as well as Willie Edrich, he had an average of 8.4 yards per carry. Now, I know you like, Coach, what do you mean? They got balls on both sides of the ball. If, they're, if they are allowing teams to average those type of yards per run, well, I'm going to be honest with you. 
These young men, they can get out here. They can put points on the board with the best of them. The only problem, the penalties. The penalties continue. The penalties kept drives going. Unnecessary penalties. Whole sportsmanlike conduct. Things of that nature. Kept kept drives moving in which Bethune Cookman could have got their line, got got their defense off the penalties field. Kept those kept those drives going for Utah. Bethune Cookman had an opportunity to get back in this game to either tie it with a field goal or go ahead with a touchdown. And while they, when they were driving down the field, Bethune Cookman quarterback Shannon Patrick threw an interception that UTEP took that took that possession and they ended up putting additional points on the board. Honestly, they scored 14 unanswered, which put them up 17. And from there, it was it was a, it was difficult for uh, Bethune Cookman to climb back out of that hole. In this game, they had to literally play almost a perfect game because. UTEP was able to score just as well as Bethune, Bethune Cookman. And if somebody didn't stop the other one on defense, guess what? Points was going on the board. So I figure once Bethune Cookman get a few more games under their belt and they knock off the penalties and, and the turning over the ball, um, I think things things will be a lot better for them. That one turnover that I spoke about earlier that happened earlier in the game, I believe that punt went off the defensive team's helmet, excuse me, the uh, punting team's Hell, punting team's player helmet, but they never reviewed the play. Bethune Cookman has a great group of guys on both sides of the ball in which they're going to be a handful for anybody that they play against in the SWAT this upcoming season. Like I said, if they, if they stop the turnovers and they, you know, eliminate the penalties, they, they're going to be a tough out for somebody that they play every week. But Bethune Cookman is going to play Central Florida this week. So leave a comment below and let me know who do you have in this game. But until next time, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, like these videos, comment on these videos, and share these videos. And not to mention, guys, continue to keep following us on social media because our presence is beginning to uh, grow. And like I said, we're going to do some great things. So I need y'all to make sure y'all tune in. And remember, be that one and lead.